Hi, this is my life as a truck driver. The first thing I did is remember where the heck I'm driving to. I think I might have short-term memory loss because I always forget where I'm going, which is bad when your entire job is to remember where you're driving to in the entire country. I put the address in Google Maps satellite view. It's basically Google Earth. And it showed that I was picking up my delivery in a field, like a legitimate dirt farmer's field. So I did what any responsible truck driver would do. And I just started driving toward the field. But before I started driving, I checked over my truck to make sure nothing's broken. Because one time I was lazy and I didn't do my checks. And that day the steering just went wonky. I could steer to the right just fine. But every time I wanted to turn left, it would take like a thousand pounds of muscle. It turns out the steering fluid thingy had a leak in it and I couldn't turny turny. And from that day on, I always check every single thing. Now I start driving to find an empty trailer. It usually takes me about 30 to 45 minutes to find a trailer. I'd say it's because I'm picky. I will literally drive the entire facility. There could be like 10 trailers there. I'm the guy to go and inspect every one. I want the nice ones, all right? I want the new one. After I finally found a trailer that met my super high standards, I made my way to my pickup location in Missouri, or Missouri as the locals call it. Someone corrected me while I was on the phone. Someone corrected me while I was on the phone with my friend, explaining to them what state I was going to. She said, it's actually Missouri. And I'm like, you're crazy. Okay, I actually didn't say that to her because she was crazy. Lol. Anyways. While I was driving to Missouri, for whatever reason, I thought that the turn signal on my trailer was out. I don't know why, but I figure it's best if I double check and stop at a truck stop. Because the last thing I want as a trucker is to be pulled over by a cop and written a ticket for having a right turn signal light out. Okay, Garmin. Truck stop along my route. Which result would you like? One. Add as next stop. Travel stop on Northeast. But when I went to go check the right turn signal light, it was completely fine. Oh, it works. I have no idea why I thought it wasn't working. I genuinely don't know. I just don't. I think it was a short term memory loss. Aging, am I right? I like to insert these driving scenes where I just don't say anything because. I think they're kind of cool and they're kind of calming. I ended up being six minutes away from the dirt farmer's field to pick up my delivery. I was using two GPS's, but somehow they were both wrong. I am six minutes away. This is a weird turn. I don't know. I don't know. This place looks too busy. This doesn't look like... Oh. In one mile, turn right on North... This is a big city. I hate driving in big cities. Because there's too many... dum-dum drivers. <laughs> And then you go to streets like this. Oh! I can't make these turns. On Google Maps, this showed just like a, a field. Like just a dirt field. I don't know if it's an actually a dirt field or maybe this is a new building. And then when the Google like car went around, the building wasn't built yet. But right now the building's there. Take the next right onto East Stroh Road. No, 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 no. I'm not going down a neighborhood street. Uh, this is not it. 
Oh my god. I ended up stopping and rechecking my Google Maps satellite view. I found a warehouse nearby the dirt farmer's field. The address wasn't right, but I figure it's a better place to be than where I was. I don't know where the hell I am. I don't know. That random warehouse ended up being the right place, but when I got there, it was just horrible. All right, I'm here. I <laughs> finally found it. Really bad news. They can't accept me. Even though like I'm supposed to back into one of those spots, they're supposed to put stuff in my trailer with the forklifts. They said they are so freaking behind that they can't get to me until tomorrow. Isn't that ridiculous? Even though my appointment's scheduled for today, they said no. Come back tomorrow, we're too behind. Wow. Okay, Garmin. Truck stop. Hopefully there's a loves. Which result would you like? Because I get free showers. Uh, scroll down. Scroll down. All right. Uh, we'll do three. Going to Love's on Southeast 4th Street. Trucking definitely isn't perfect. It's not like an office job where you just clock in, do your work at a computer all day, and then just clock out. In trucking, sometimes I can't even work, drive, because stuff like this happens. Or there's traffic. Or there's traffic backed up. Or whenever I back into a dock, the people that load my trailer with their forklifts take 10 hours. I had that happen once. At this truck stop, I get free showers. Kinda. Well, for every gallon of diesel I put into my truck, I get these, like, reward points. And I just use those reward points to buy showers. So I pretty much always have a free shower at this truck stop. How do I get a shower at a truck stop? Well, I just go on the truck stop's app and just buy a shower but then it automatically gives me like a 10 minute timer to get to the shower and if i don't get there within 10 minutes i lose the shower and i think my rewards points that i spent on the shower too so it sucks now i usually park far far i'm like the farthest away from the truck stop as possible i park way in the back why because no one else parks there so it's less likely that my truck is gonna get hit. But then I get this like 10 minute timer on my phone and I'm like, turn on the turbos, Alex, we gotta go. After my shower, I ended up stopping at this fast food place inside the truck stop. I got some fried chicken. That's how they get you. They're like, oh yeah, use your points, get a free shower. But while you're here, you wanna buy some overpriced food? And I was like, yeah, yes. Yes, I do want the overpriced food. Thank you very much. I ended up feeling just so out of it and just so fat and lazy that after I was done eating, I just went to sleep. The next day. I'm on my way to the place that said <laughs> that kicked me out basically yesterday. Let's see if they will let me in today. There's another driving scene I think is cool. They ended up letting me in and giving me dock door number eight to back into so they can start loading my trailer with their forklifts. Which was good because I was expecting to wait in line for hours and hours and hours. But little did I freaking know that this was gonna happen. I just backed into like one of these like like warehouse doors right here. And then getting the forklifts getting and putting stuff in the trailer. It's 6.34 a.m. right now. <laughs> Let's see how long they take. I'm the only truck here. So it should be quick. But you never know. <laughs> Ten minutes later.
30 minutes later. One and a half hours later. <coughs> I ended up staying at that place for eight and a half hours. It took them eight and a half hours to get on their forklifts and put stuff in my trailer. I don't even, I don't even know. This job is just why I could have got a normal job at an office sitting at my computer eight hours a day. I clocked in, clocked out. I would have had a, my best co-worker friend named Bill. And then there would be this other co-worker named Charles. But, but nobody liked Charles because he didn't bring snacks to the office party like everyone else did. Everything would have been fine. Everything would have been normal. But no. I want to go be a truck driver and deal with this I had to pull into one of these giant scales that semi trucks fit on just to weigh how much stuff they put in my trailer. And then I got back to driving. But honestly, it was only for like maybe three hours. I really don't like driving at night. Okay, Garmin. Rest area along my route. Which result would you like? One. Start new route. Going to after I found a good parking spot at the rest area, I immediately started cooking and I was gonna eat good. Well, at, at least that's what I planned. I bought this giant piece of steak for like $12. Now, for $12 for a steak that size, I was expecting it to be very chewy and it didn't help that I overcooked it. I burnt the heck out of that dang thing. It was still good though. And after eating, I went straight to sleep. I think I'm getting into a bad habit of going to sleep immediately after I'm done eating. I eat too much. Day three. Dad, I started driving at about 6.15 in the morning. While I'm driving, I usually listen to music or a podcast. I've noticed that in the mornings, I like to learn something and listen to something educational. But then like late in the afternoon, all I listen to is music. This is another driving scene that I like. I am about 10 minutes away from finally delivering this trailer. In a quarter mile, turn left. Now, I gotta drop this trailer off, I gotta get an empty trailer, and then I'm on to my next delivery. 